Hello. So I've just watched a BBC Newsnight feature on iPlayer about the blockchain. For those of you that don't know, Newsnight is the BBC's flagship news and current affairs programme. It's generally watched by people like my dad who like to get wound up and throw things at the telly just before they go to bed. And the blockchain is the breakthrough tech behind Bitcoin. Now, this feature has wound me up so much, I feel the need to do this, this little piece to camera about it. And it begins with Newsnight's technology editor, Dan Grossman, uh, explaining what the blockchain is. Don't worry if this explanation makes your brain go all fuzzy. Just bear with it. Here we go. This is an immutable ledger of who owns what. Every time bitcoins are transferred, another block of data is added to the chain. Like the DNA in every cell, a complete copy of the blockchain is held by the entire network of users. Therefore, if you tried to cheat the currency, trying to spend what you haven't got, well, everyone else would know. How is anyone supposed to understand that? There are just too many words that people aren't familiar with, spoken too quickly for anyone to even begin to take them in. Someone like my dad's going to go to bed even more terrified of technology than he already is, poor man. Yes, Bitcoin is very difficult to explain, but it's been around since 2009. Surely Newsnight could have found a way of explaining it clearly by now. Let's listen to that last bit again. Therefore, if you tried to cheat the currency, trying to spend what you haven't got, well, everyone else would know. Everyone would know. What difference does that make? Everyone's known Set Blatter's been corrupt for the last 30 years. It hasn't made any difference. That is not how it works. I, I, I actually begin to wonder if the, if the reporter even understands that. The point is, once a record is in place, it cannot be changed. It is permanent. It is unhackable. They had the top... Um, hacker from the NSA, a chap called Dan Kaminsky, come along and try and hack Bitcoin. And he spent six months trying to do it, became obsessed with it and ended up concluding it was the most reliable digital technology ever invented. Everyone would know. Anyway, then we got Isabella Looney tunes from the FT. From the bank's perspective, one of the reasons they got in trouble is because they didn't trust each other. Blockchain, at its, at its heart, is a system that allows people that don't trust each other to trust each other. That's very, very useful for a banking system that, let's face it, got into trouble because it did not trust each other. And it was nothing to do with the fact that they were all holding way too much bad debt that had gone wrong. Something which, by the way, the blockchain would have exposed many years earlier. Then we got an intense bloke from a bank. But even more exciting is the disruptive minds of entrepreneurs are seeing the power of this. And they're building new businesses in new paradigms that are going to change the shape and the face of all industries. And if any of you have been wondering what Moby's been doing for the last 15 years, he's been working for Barclays. So I'm going to do Newsnight's job for them and run that same feature for you using a new breakthrough technique, which is to only use words that people actually understand. I haven't got a motion graphics designer, so I'm going to have to use my son's Lego bricks instead. And I haven't got a budget for music, so we're going to have to go acoustic. Here we go. The blockchain is an automated system of record keeping. It is a new and reliable way to prove ownership and identity. A block contains information. The information has been processed, verified and approved by multiple independent computers, so we know it's true. The information inside that block cannot be altered. It is permanent. Every few minutes, another block is added containing more information, all processed by the network. Thus, a chain of information blocks, a blockchain, is formed and we have an unhackable, automated system of permanent public record that continuously grows. Think of it as a digital doomsday book for the 21st century. There you go, you see, it wasn't that hard. And of course, if you want to read more about Bitcoin, you should read my book, Bitcoin, the Future of Money. And I'm thinking of doing more of these vlogs in the future. I've quite enjoyed it. So if you like listening to this, I'm, I'm going to talk about social issues, economics, finance, all that kind of stuff that I'm interested in. 
Uh, so if you liked it, sign up for my YouTube channel or sign up for my blog and I'll put a link in the bit below. The bit below. <laughs>